Alrighty then, here's my Bandai Space Warp set. Um, I've uh, made a custom set here. Put three funnels in the system. The funnels are held in place with these little blocks. My power supply, I don't use the D-cell battery. I put a uh, variable uh, power regulator inside the battery holder uh, along with an on-off switch so I can turn it off and uh, it's plugged into a 5-volt uh, cell phone charger and I use alligator clips to connect to the motor all right cool uh, one very very important tool that I highly recommend um, is a magnetic uh, thing pickup tool and I'll tell you why because uh, the balls do occasionally fall out and it's really hard to get through the uh, spaghetti maze of track but all you have to do is use your magnetic uh, thing there and uh, you can recover the little steel balls all right let's start the thing up and get the show on the road I highly recommend uh, purchasing a little uh, voltage regulator. It kicks down the 5 volts to about 1.5 volts, and you can vary the speed on the thing. I don't know if you can see, there's a little trim pot in there. I think it's too dark to see it. But anyway, that's uh, where I adjust the uh, speed of the thing. i got another couple of balls here that uh, are uncooperative. I don't know where they go, so I'll just put them in somewhere. But anyway, you really save on batteries, and um, you have a real nice source of power there. Another thing I recommend is uh, if you're going to place it anywhere, uh, try to be as level as possible. Uh, just by moving this thing around on my table, it's uh, thrown it a little out of kilter. So some balls are starting to go off track. But I love these funnels.
Okay, well there you go. There's the Bandai Space Warp. And it's a lot of fun to play with uh, using the funnels.